My daddy told me all about it. Okay. All of it. I have a game out there at my house, and it also records new games of Jesus. Long ago, Jesus and his disciples were at their Last Supper. There was Peter, Jesus, I think Judas was there. Matthew, John, Thomas. There was one that started with an A. Andrew? Wait, wait, it might be Adam. Jesus was telling them that he was gonna die on the cross. They said, is that why we're having the feast? Like, so it's really true that you're gonna die. And Jesus told them, yeah, because the bread represents my body and the wine represents my blood. Jesus said, come here, and he washed their feet. Peter said, but you can't do this for us. You're Jesus, you're the God from above. But then Jesus said, no, I need to wash away your feet. Judas one day was walking and he saw these guards. And these guards were like, hey, do you want some money? We'll come and give you some. And Judas was like, hmm. Judas was paid a lot of money back then, which was probably like five dollars, five or four, to try to get Jesus to like fall into the trap, even though Jesus probably already knew it was coming. Judas went to the bad side, or known as the dark side. Jesus was arrested by those soldiers, and they forced him to carry this cross. They whipped him and put a crown on him. Not like the shiny gold crown that a king would have, but I mean, they, it was just made out of like thorns. They took him upstairs and put him on a cross and nailed him on his hands and his feet. And all these people had like torches. They said, why do you save other people, but why can't you save yourself? I don't believe that he is the son of God. Stop it, this is not right. He's our savior, he's done miracles. Why are you doing this to him? And then he said, it's finished. And he died. They put them in a big hole. Oh yeah, right, the tomb. And put a rock there. And the soldiers were guarding the big, big giant circle rock so, so people wouldn't see him when he was dead. And then he raised three days later. The guard found that there was nobody in the grave. Jesus wasn't there. Jesus wasn't there. Jesus was gone. Then a lot of Marys came over to visit Jesus to bring spices to put in Jesus's tomb. They found a angel sitting on top of the rock and they were afraid because they'd never seen an angel, I think. Where was Jesus? Um, he was from the dead. Jesus wasn't there anymore, only the cross. So the Marys were like, how is that happening? Like, how, how on earth is this happening? How is he risen from the dead? Nobody's ever done that before. That's crazy. The angel's like, God did it, man. <laughs> and then, so they were super shocked, and they went back to, their, to the other disciples. Hey, guess what? Jesus has arisen from the dead. He's not in his tomb anymore. The disciples didn't believe them because like, they might have not like, seen it. I don't know if Jesus is alive or not. Jesus appeared to a room where all his old friends were. Surprise, I'm rising in the front of you. <gasps> Was that a ghost? How is, how is this person risen from the dead? Is he like a zombie or something? He was like, it's true because I want to save you guys. And I'm not joking about this because when, when I'm talking about this kind of stuff, I don't joke about it. But you are Jesus, so I think we need to like go back to like believing in you and stuff. And Jesus told the disciples to tell everybody the good news. He was alive because he, he was magical and he said, I have risen from the dead. I will return back to heaven and you will too if you believe in me as I, if I am your uh, savior. As soon as he was with his, his friends and he was praying, a fluffy seatbelt of clouds lifted him back to heaven. He was like flying and they were all like, what? Like all the all the disciples were like, there's so many wacky things happening now, what's happening? 
Easter isn't really about getting eggs and eating chocolate or anything. Yeah, some people think that might be what it is, but it's not. It's a miracle how he put himself in the world with other people, and he shared his gift with them. We honor Easter because we want to love him too.